Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're gonna talk about just live start to finish. You're gonna have everything you need to start making calls tomorrow and get more leads. So in this shifting market, sometimes we have to change up our strategies, but I always recommend sticking with one thing until you get really good at it. Of course, you know, change and improve it and do that sort of thing. But unless you focus on one thing and focus on improving it, you're not gonna be any better off just skipping to the next shiny object and trying another lead generation technique. They all work or they may all suck. I mean, it depends how long you stick with it. So if you bounce to one of the next, they're gonna suck, all of them. But if you stick with one and work it, and you know, nothing wrong with trying each one. I tell people for two weeks, try a different technique. If you're really not sure which method you wanna try, whether it's consistent on YouTube, whether it's consistent on Instagram, on Facebook, or starting a Facebook group, whether it's uh, email marketing, or uh, farming an area with you know postcards and mailers and things like that, or door knocking or cold calls. But I think everyone should eventually have a lot of these skills in their repertoire, in their quiver, so to speak, so they could pull that arrow out and get more leads. So I recommend having three pillars to your business for how to get leads, but let's uh, show you what you need to start making calls tomorrow. Full disclosure, I haven't tried every software out there for real estate agents. And I know there's ones like Vulcan 7s, highly recommended, but you know, $300 a month is a plus if you need the dialer, I think it's another 130 or something. So that's a lot for a new agent to worry about for expenses. I always say in any business, you wanna cut down your recurring expenses, keep them at a minimum until you start making money. And of course, then reinvest in your business, get these tools you need to grow your business. Some people really like Red X. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Red X. A lot of the greatest real estate agents I know use that. My understanding is it doesn't have as accurate of information. Now you can still talk to a lot of people and with geo leads, maybe it doesn't really matter. But if you're targeting only FISBOs that's for sale by owner, and expireds, you might get annoyed with the data not being as accurate as some other lead sources. So the one I'm gonna show you today, let's get into it. It's My Plus Leads. I'll put a link down below so you can get a discount and your free trial. Let's share my screen and we'll get right into My Plus Leads and show you how to set it up. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up My Plus Leads with KV Core. Uh, all you wanna do is go to mypluslead.com, hit enter. And you're going to say sign up. You'll see the packages here. So you could choose from, you know, just getting started with FISBO and expired data for $70 a month. I do recommend just stay monthly until you know you like this and you're going to stay with it. Of course, there's savings to be had with quarterly and annual payments, but this is all about new people and getting started and just keeping your upfront and recurring fees to a minimum until you start making money. So uh, $70 a month, you got 156 that adds the neighborhood premium, which is like geo data. What's nice about My Plus Leads is supposedly it's more accurate than Red X. Uh, you can see now Red X, you can get started for cheaper, for less money at $60 a month for just geo leads or just uh, expired leads. FISBO is gonna be $40 a month. So you could just get started with those for less money. But if you look at My Plus Leads, you could also hit customize here and add just the ones you want for FISBO for 30, expired for 50. And there is savings if you get, you know, more than one, you could see it knocks the price down and you get them both for 70. So uh, I think that's pretty nice. I recommend getting all three of these. You'll have plenty of numbers to dial, but if you don't have that much time or that much money, I'd say at least start with FISBO and expired or at the very least uh, the expired because you can get FISBOs. I mean, you can get expired from your MLS technically and FISBOs you could find online from websites. So if you want to go free, I would go that way, but if you want to have it all in one place here, I would get, you know, one, two, or all three of these, and you continue from there. All right, I just clicked to validate my account, my email. Now it's asked me to log in, so we're going to hit cancel there. Okay, let's save that. Enter MLS credentials. All right, so you're going to enter your MLS credentials here, and boom, you're in the dashboard. So... What you'll see here is every single day it's processing FISBO and expired data, and it's going to import that into your database. Now to integrate it with KV Core, you would go to settings and help here. You go to data integration, and you look at the provider. There's all sorts of providers that are in here. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down, and you'll see KV Core. And you're gonna add a user. Now you see it's asked for an API key is active, sync all leads, blah, blah, blah. So of course now you gotta log into KV Core. K 
KB Core is a CRM I use. It's one of the best out there, if not the best. It costs between five and eight hundred dollars a month to get it on your own. Uh, quick pitch, just for EXP, shameless plug. If you're an EXP agent or you join EXP Realty, where I'm at, it's included in your eighty-five dollars a month fee, and that's it. That's all. That's all you pay. So you get one of the best CRMs out there. Other people are paying five to eight hundred dollars for. That's not the only reason I joined. I don't even know if that's a reason that I joined EXP, but it's a really nice perk for joining EXP. So back to my plus leads. So uh, KV Core now. All right, so in KV Core, you're gonna wanna go over here to uh, Lead Engine, click on that. And up here in the upper right, you'll see Lead Dropbox. Sync any lead source in KV Core, so click on that. So from here, you're gonna go ahead and click Generate. You could leave the contacts and users, and it's gonna generate an API token. Here is the token, do not share that with anybody, it is confidential. Uh, you wanna click this copy just to make sure you get the entire thing. Click that copy button. Now we're gonna go back to My Plus Leads. Let me close that, I'm getting too many tabs. Too many tabs open. We're gonna paste that into uh, My Plus Leads where it's asking for an API key. Is active, you wanna say yes because you can disable these uh, inputs at any time. Now sync all leads, you can either call them and qualify them first and then put them in manually. I like to just click this and then you could sort them out with hashtags and things like that later. If you ever need to cancel this, at least you'll have all the leads in your KV core, which you'll keep paying for, even if you choose to stop paying for this for some reason. So go ahead and hit save. And that is all that's to it. So is active true, sync all le leads true. And now we're going to go back to, so there's a bunch of other settings here in My Plus Leads. I wanted you to see what your options were, the pricing between this and Red X and why I like this one better and how it syncs easily with KV Core and API key and then how to set up that API integration. Next up, we're gonna start making calls. And I'm gonna show you my favorite way to use this and make calls that'll get more people to answer and give you a better way to capture more leads. All right, so a quick recap. You went into KV Core, you created your API key, you signed up for My Plus Leads for whichever program makes sense for your budget, and you added that API key into uh, My Leads Plus. And the only other thing I would recommend in the My Leads Plus is if you're gonna use the dashboard in there instead of your CRM, uh, your CRM is better, but what I like to do under settings and options is go to additional settings, and I click the separate list for FISBO and expired. That way when you go to the dashboard up here, you'll see that in the list there's stuff added to expire, there's stuff added to FISBO, otherwise it's one big list for everything. And now you can filter it out here if you're using this dashboard. Now in KV Core, I recommend you make the phone calls from anyway. Let's go into KV Core and see what has happened. I've given it a little bit of time, that's why I changed my outfit, is to, uh, it's the next day and I allowed time for leads to come in from KV Core or from My Plus Leads into KV Core. And you'll see that it's not just uh, once a day, it's several times a day, you'll get emails and things like that. You could, you know, turn off notifications as needed. But I already have like 22 calls I got to make today just on that FISBOs and expired. And if we go to our smart CRM, you'll see there's uh, FISBOs right here and uh, canceled, expired, things like that for their contracts. So it tells you right in KV Core what the deal is. You know, was it was it expired? Was it a FISBO? Was it canceled? I did verify that these that say canceled are indeed canceled. It wasn't like a sync error or anything like that. And for anyone asking what an API is, it's a application something interface. It's really just how two different programs on the internet can talk to each other. Uh, it's a protocol so that you know, it's basically what allows My Plus Leads to talk to KV Core, things like that. So other things on the uh, RESTful API, if you want to read more about it, is what the full name of, of that technology is, where it goes over the internet to do things like synchronize email lists or automate different parts of your business. So we'll cover more of that on this channel. Let me know what you'd like to see. KV Core here. So now we have this list of prospects and stuff like that. If you haven't learned about your smart number, if we go up here to your upper right and you'll see the phone number there is not your number, you're like, what on earth is that? It's a smart number. If you don't buy your own smart number for 20 or 30 a month, you have what's essentially a shared 
smart number. Now, people in your database, I've confirmed this with multiple experts at eXp and with KV Core. So if there's anybody that has uh, additional information, let me know or a question. So if you do create a unique hashtag and give out that number for you know text uh, this hashtag to this number, that will definitely come to you because you have the unique hashtag. But if somebody call, I would not put this number, the smart number on your business card or on a sign even, because even if you have the hashtag thing, if people start calling this number, using this number, those leads could go to somebody else, another agent that's sharing this number in your market. And that is how that works. Uh, the only exception is if you have that person in your database and you're the last person to have contacted that person. So let's say we all have John Smith in our KV core, and there's three people in my market that happen to be using the smart number that have John Smith in their KV core database, CRM. The last agent that communicated with John Smith via KV core, that's where John Smith will get directed to if he called or texted that number with no other you know, hashtag or any other information. That's exactly how that works. Clears up a lot of questions. I get a ton of questions about how smart numbers work and are they shared? Should I never use it? Should I always use it? Because you hear different things out there, right? And nobody got all the answers. So why I'm talking about the smart number here is you could certainly call, click and call any of these people from your computer. If you have a Mac, it can use your cell phone. Uh, then that's different. It'll actually use your cell phone to dial out, but otherwise it'll use an internet dialer and you could just have Bluetooth headphones and microphone and use your computer as the dialer and it'll use that smart number to call out. Now you could say that's good or bad, right? What's nice about a smart number, the whole concept of why it exists is that let's say you had your own dedicated smart number or you weren't worried about people you know, getting this one or sharing it. Well, you call out that smart number. If people call back or anything or respond to you, text, whatever, all that gets logged automatically in KV Core. So all of your calls get logged automatically in KV Core. If you're dialing out with that number, any texts out or in, any calls in, all that stuff gets tracked automatically in KV Core as far as updating the contacts. To me, it's not a lot of additional effort to you know say, hey, I'm gonna add a, a call, a note, you know, something like that in the CRM myself. I'm used to doing that in a CRM anyhow. I don't see the benefit. I suppose maybe someday I'll get my own smart number after some more testing and have a dedicated one and then I don't have to worry about it. I spoke earlier about, I'm gonna give you a trick for how I get more people to answer the phone. Well, when you dial out with a smart number, I would definitely test yours and see who it's dialing out as, what the, what the caller ID shows up as because uh, it's probably not going to be your name. And uh, again, it's a shared number. It may not even say eXp Realty. Hopefully it does. I'll I'll try it. I'll test that for you guys and get back to you. I like to dial out with my cell phone personally. And if you put the KV Core app on your cell phone, I left it downstairs, of course. But if you put the KV Core app on your cell phone, you can dial out with it. I'll just put it up here. You can scroll to your list and your list of you know to-do list of calls and everything and if you can just click and call from your cell phone using kv core and it'll then you get the benefit of just clicking to dial right you don't need a dialer just click them and dial and it will use your cell phone's phone number to dial out i personally like that option i find more people pick up because they see a person's name there they can call me back it's a real number they can google the number and they see exactly who it is as opposed to the smart number so that's why I personally wouldn't use the smart number, even with the unique hashtags for texting, whatever. I would buy your own for 20 or 30 a month if you feel you're gonna use it. But to me, it's just easier to use your own cell phone number if you're not afraid of that or get a dedicated cell phone for your real estate business. But I like to keep everything simple. You know, my real estate business is me and I just want one cell phone number. So that's me, you can call me, text me, whatever. And that's the number I'm gonna give out. So I wanna call leads from it. I'm not afraid. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm trying to help people. So I, I don't look at it as I'm afraid of calling from my real number, you know, so hopefully you don't either. Let me know if you agree in the comments, but that's just how I see it. So, uh, so there we go. They're already in here, ready to go. And if you want to, you know, let's click on one of them. You can see the info, right? So you got their phone number, you got their addresses in there. You have uh, that they're a seller lead because that's just where the data came from. There's some summary info in here saying it came from an API. It came from my plus leads. I mean, it shows all, everything in KV core here when they were first, uh, it says signed up, but they mean, you know, imported 
And the middle of the page, if you haven't used KB Core, like you can see it added a hashtag for FISBO, right? I didn't set that up. That was automatic. So it has a note here about info on the house. That's from the FISBO listing. Uh, it's assigned to me, but if you have a team, it could get assigned, you know, round robin or however you set that up. And you can go into profile details and see more info that may have come in for this person. It's usually just the address number and sometimes an email. And then, you know, you could set up search alerts and all that, but you don't want to do any of that without talking to them. So the next step is to call these leads. The other way some people do it is they'll call these leads from My Plus Leads. And that's why some people get a dialer there or you can click in here, uh, but there is no app on your phone for this. So that's why I just bring them to KB Core and I do it for a few reasons. One is, as I mentioned, then I can, you know, it's in my CRM, I could track it, all that. But also if for some reason you were to cancel my plus leads and you, you know, you don't want to, unless you export all that data first, you're going to lose it. So mine's already coming into KV Core. I, I could just go to one place and look for everything. And if it's a bad number or whatever, I'll mark it that way. But I'd rather just have it all in my CRM and work it from there. So let me know how you prefer to work. Other people do the manual sync that we went over earlier. Instead of having it automatically come to KV Core, they just call and kind of vet these out from my plus leads and then manually bring them over. I just feel like that's extra work for no reason. And again, you're not going to have all that info in here. You know, people that buy and sell a great percentage of them stay in the area or know people in the area. So there's nothing wrong with having their contact information in here. Unless, of course, you call them and they say to remove them from your list or whatever, then you pull them off your list. So I told you you'd have everything you needed to get started and start calling tomorrow. So the only other thing I'd say is, uh, you know, you can go off this to-do list in the upper right and boom, you know, it's got all these right, right in here. And you could snooze each one. I don't know why you would do that or you can click and say call. Now, when you say call now, this will dial from the dialer, as I was saying, from the computer. So if you hit call now, that's what'll happen on your mobile phone app. When you do call now, of course, then it'll use your cell phone number. What's nice is now you're clicking to dial. You don't have to manually dial a number. And it's also logging that to your CRM so you can track that activity. And that's really important. I want you to get in the good habits of using your CRM the way it's supposed to be used. It's gonna help you track your numbers and get more done every day and enable you to, whoa, enable you to grow your team and things like that uh, later. I get carried away with my hands and just whacked my microphone, but oh well. Log call is more the manual way. If I was using my cell phone at the computer and I wanted to just log it from the computer, you know, without having a dial, right? Because from the computer, the only way for it to log it is for me to manually log the call or click the call now and have the computer dial. But again, it's gonna use that smart number. I don't wanna do that. I'll do it from my mobile app instead, but if for some reason I was in front of my desktop because it's just a bigger screen and I wanted to do it, you could just go to log call and you would click, you know, outbound. This is you calling. You'd put notes about your call. You could always say, of course, right here, it's a bad number, not home or contacted. So that's how a CRM works. If you're not familiar with it, you're tracking the CRM. It's what CRM officially stands for, customer relationship manager. But a lot of people say contact relationship manager. You get the idea. I mean, the whole, what it does, and KV Core is more than just a CRM, by the way, but just as a CRM, what it does is track all of your contacts, their disposition, meaning are they, you know, are they hot, ready to buy or sell right now? Are they cold? Are they somewhere in between? Uh, of course, your notes, so you can keep track of all these people that you speak with and help build that relationship like they had a cute dog or whatever, if you met them in person, you know. <laughs> met them at the coffee shop, whatever. You put all those notes in here to help jog your memory so you can remember that person and build that relationship. And I mean, you could track things like birthdays and all sorts of stuff. And then with KV Core, what you could do is actually have emails and mailers, whatever you want, go out automatically on their birthday or anniversary or certain times of the year to just say, hey, you know, get in front of them and just say, hey, I'm thinking about you, blah, blah, blah. I hope you have a great birthday or whatever. And it just helps build that relationship over time. So it's all those touch points that you want to go above and beyond. And Kiwi Core helps you do that. So it's a fantastic CRM. And the other thing is, of course, tracks your activity. And if you, when you call them, when you should call them, it tells you like call and don't leave a voicemail or it'll say call and leave a voicemail. So it's very helpful just guiding you through how to how to build those relationships and how to get a hold of people and get more contacts and conversations. So you really want to get like at least 20 contacts a day. 
that's not just phone calls. That means talking to real people. Based on the planning video I'll put up here for the annual planning, you may have different numbers, but I mean, it's a good rule of thumb. If you have nothing else to go by and you don't want to do the math from this uh, planning video, you could just try to call at least 20, 25 contacts a day and make contacts, I should say, because you probably have to call twice as many people than that to actually talk to, you know, 20, 25 people a day. So it's at least five days a week. I just recommend making it part of your non-negotiables, your things that you do every day to have a successful business because you do want to grow, right? So get out there, guys. Don't be afraid. Start making calls. You're going to suck at the beginning, by the way. So uh, if you want my script, just put a comment below. I'll make sure you get my script for calling Fizbo's and expireds. And uh, we'll talk about it is a high converting script that will get you to set appointments. That's the whole goal. Every step you want to have a goal. So when you're calling, your goal is to set an appointment with a person. When you set the appointment, your goal is to get contracts signed. So it doesn't have to happen, boom, boom, boom. You're not rushing the process. It's just, you're gonna have a goal for each step of the way. We have a different script for circle prospecting and that's just calling people in an area around a, a listing or an open house or something like that. Or if you wanna just target a neighborhood that you wanna work in, then we have different script for that because you're really just cold calling people out of the blue. But I'll show you some tricks on how it's gonna be more of a warm conversation and how you can connect with those people. But just realize your number is gonna be a little lower as far as conversions just because you don't know if they're gonna if they want to sell their house right or if they want to even buy a house but with fizbos and expired you know that they do want to sell their house they just may not want to use an agent yet so those are the keywords thanks for watching hit the like subscribe and all that stuff and let me know in the comments again if you want a copy of my scripts they're high converting they work so let me know i will see you guys next time